welcome back to another What's In There video. We're going to be taking a look at Village Attacks Dread and Malice expansion today. So uh, we're going to be showing you everything that's in this expansion for Village Attacks. Uh, briefly talking about each part individually, and then we'll come back with some final thoughts in just a few moments. So let's get to it. So as we're diving into the box of Dread and Malice for Village Attacks, you see that it does come with a good number of miniatures, all four miniatures, uh, two new heroes, or rather two new monsters that you can play, and then two more town heroes. Uh, then you're also going to be getting, of course, six of the... Um, the monster ability tokens that are going to go on there. You have the two uh, town hero tokens that come. And then, of course, the player uh, boards for the two monsters that you'll be able to commandeer. Uh, you have the boogeyman and Krampus. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at all of these different things. And so here we have Krampus, that uh, I guess the evil version of Santa Claus or something to that effect. I don't know. Or where the origination of Santa? I have no idea, but this dude is bad. He's a demon. Uh, he's going to be... Uh getting uh he's got nine health that's pretty nasty uh he's got uh two uh places for defense one for reserve and three for movement so uh he has the ability to move around a lot more than others uh here he has thrash uh your <clears throat> magic results may be spent to deal damage to villagers each symbol spent deals one damage and you've got to use a retaliation for that uh, so that's not bad if you upgrade it here the retaliation uh, requirement goes away but the effect stays the same you also have the naughty list here and it says that your first uh, regular or ranged attack may ignore the targeting priority order have to use a retaliation die to do that uh, but you flip it over and it says your first two regular or ranged attacks can ignore that targeting priority. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, then you also have Childhood Fear. You have to use a uh, magic die to do that. Peasants will not attack you and are not counted when deciding whether you are hindered. Well, that's because they're cowering in fear, um, as they probably should. Well, uh, it says here, if you upgrade it, that uh, villagers, it says choose a villager type. On this side, it said that uh, peasants, so you had to use a specific type. This side, you choose what villager type uh, will not cause you to be hindered and they will not uh, uh, be counted against you. Still using that magic side die though. So that's Krampus, uh, pretty nasty individual. His model is equally disgusting <laughs> uh, or whatever uh, he's just not a very friendly looking character you definitely anybody that has horns that big you know you, you just don't have a lot of friends probably and uh krampus is definitely in that he's got his bag of gifts no skulls uh so anyway uh neat looking model i guess but uh a nasty individual nonetheless and so here we have the Boogeyman. Of course, it's a mythic monster, and it's all about scaring kids and all that kind of stuff. So he has all of these little trinkets that are supposed to draw kids in, I guess. I don't know. This guy is not funny. Uh, anyway, he gets one defense, one spot for a defense die, two for reserve, and three for movement, much like Kramp is going to be moving around a lot. His inert ability here is Gloom. Uh, at a range to 0 to 1, uh, you can use a defense die to target zone suffers darkness. Now, what darkness does is it means that no ranged attacks uh, can be made into or out of that zone. Furthermore, abilities that require a line of sight uh, or anything like that cannot be cast into or used in that zone uh, that is suffering from darkness. So that's pretty nasty. Uh, then, if you want to uh, oh, upgrade it, uh, you just lose that defense die ability, uh, or requirement rather, and the target zone suffers darkness. Creeping death! Um, here we have a 0 to 1 range. Creeping death says slay two peasants or hunters in every zone in range. That is amazing! Uh, you have to use a range die in order to do that. Upgrading it. You can slay three peasants or hunters in every zone in range. Uh, so you, you can get right into the mix of things and then just start uh, killing folk. That's not very nice. Reality Distortion. 
Uh, zero to one range. You have to use a magic die in order to uh, pull it off. Move all peasants in target uh, zone, one zone, in any direction. All right, so you can move people around. If you flip it over and uh, do it, it says move all peasants or hunters uh, in the target zone uh, in any direction. So uh, the regular initial one is just peasants, and then on the flip side, it is peasants or hunters. So pretty nasty. The model, of course, is what you would probably expect. Uh, very creepy. Very, um, I, I just, that is just blah, blah, blah. Don't like that at all. But it's the boogeyman. So I guess it's supposed to be kind of uh, mystical and uh, uh, creepy and all of that other kind of stuff. The, uh, the robe here is very, uh, not ornate, but there's a lot of stuff that uh, can pretty uh, pull out a lot of detail there. So, uh, neat model, but uh, let's get to the rest. And then here we have the two town heroes that come in the Dread Malice expansion. We have, first of all, the Berserker. Uh, the Berserker is pretty nasty. He's got five health, uh, four movement, two damage, and he's a melee combat guy. He is considered furious. It says, whenever the Berserker deals damage, remove an equal amount of uh, from his token. Uh, so that's pretty nasty. Whenever he deals two damage, he's going to remove two uh, damage tokens from him. His model is pretty neat looking as well. Um, a very Wolverine-esque pose, and I like that about it. So it's pretty cool uh, because Wolverine was also a Berserker type character too. So it works. I like it. I like it a lot. And then we have the engineer over here who has no less than seven damage that has to be dealt with him. He can move two, does three damage uh, for his attacks, and then he has a zero range as well. So another melee character here. He is a juggernaut. It says the engineer also deals three damage to every monster in every zone he enters. Wow! So he just walks in and does you three damage. But look at him. He is very cool looking uh, very much so. Uh, looks like uh, definitely at least Nordic um, or something to that effect. So I like the look of him. He looks, and, and this is a very cool looking mini as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I just like the, the mech look that it has and uh, he's going to cause some real trouble. So as per usual, all we're really trying to do here is show you exactly what comes in the box so that you can make a more informed decision on your end on whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned money on this expansion. Uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe the two monsters that come in here don't strike your fancy, or, or maybe the two heroes uh, aren't really doing it for you, or maybe the two heroes are exactly what you're looking for, so that's what you're going to be purchasing this for, and the two monsters are, eh, who cares? Whatever uh, decision-making it is, now you know exactly what you get in this expansion so you can better make that decision and that's my only goal here so we're going to go ahead and get on out of here thanks for joining us though we appreciate it we'll see you guys and gals on the flip side take care now